I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd do a little video explaining the uh, situation with the blender templates so that um, you understand what's going on as far as the copyright issues and uh, why it might be important uh, especially to a third party person or a, a de I'm sorry developer that's producing a product for sale um, I did a little test this morning and I went in and I removed an aircraft from my files it's a uh, freeware aircraft uh, I wanted to get the model off the computer to make sure that uh, uh, Blender wasn't accessing it and so if I go up uh, to my blender and open blender and I'm going to go I've already opened it here but uh, it's Fred's little BD5J uh, if I go to a uh, file and open and I've got it I think it's on E under my aircraft blender templates Fred and I go up here to the blend files and I'm going to click on that blend file right there and I'm going to open it and as you can see the model pops up on screen it's not populated doesn't have any colors on it right now but the issue is there's the model of the aircraft and almost anything dealing with that aircraft model if I just just for the sake of uh, putting some color to it I'm gonna go to external data and find missing files and I'll just go up to one of the paints how about the last one I did let's do this find missing files okay here's one of my liveries all right now everything dealing with this model is here and it's in that file and the problem is is anyone with any coding knowledge um, can actually get into that blend file and pull this model out of it and modify it. or they or they could actually mo uh, take this this model and um, Zobo has gotten involved in the um, um, the apps and stuff that go in here for doing uh, uh, these aircraft models and they have an export folder now an export app to export a model out into flight simulator and it would be highly possible for someone who uh, whether for just for fun or whatever be the case wants to pull this model out mo uh, export it modify it to their purposes and maybe load it back up on uh, flight sim 2 or something or load it somewhere for people to access uh, where this a uh, payware model it might be a little more important to uh, the the developer uh, since they're trying to make a living off of their work uh, not not that it's any less important to people who produce for freeware but as you can see the issue anyone can access this model through blender uh, through a template so what happens is if you upload a blender template file and it doesn't matter in what format that you upload it just by simply uploading that blender template file to flight sim 2 you are uploading what's called intellectual or are uh, um, in artistic or graphic or whatever you want to call it uh, property that belongs to the people who designed it and you're putting it out there uh, especially on a payware product you're putting their product out on the open market for anybody to grab without paying for it and so hence that's the issue uh, and why uh, it might uh, cause a developer to contact you and say pull down your your templates and that's exactly why I have removed access to all of my blender templates uh, I've got multitude of videos on how to make your own uh, blender templates it's not that hard it just takes watching the videos doing a little doing doing the work uh, get used to it and, and build your own templates anyways I hope this helps you understand what's going on and why I have pulled all of my templates 
uh, and I'm sorry, but I guess you're just going to have to build your own. There's a few that are available on Flight Sim 2. Um, the ones that I'm most familiar with are the ones produced by the manufacturers or the, I'm sorry, the developers of their products that have posted their templates. If, if they're posting a paint kit, uh, that's just covering the the paint files and it has nothing to do with the models most of the time there's a few um, the Rans RB7 is a freeware aircraft and they have posted a, um, a, a 3d blender template that includes both the template and the the uh, the texture files to work with so anyway uh, I hope this helps you understand uh, um, some of the issues involved uh, in people's intellectual property um, and keeps people uh, from having issues or getting nasty letters or whatever be the case. Thanks for watching. Hope I haven't wasted too much of your time.